so i've gone ahead to close out the slashes back to the original straight pattern so now i'm going to cut out on the lining here i'm going to add three quarter inch for the seam also on this side i'll add three quarter inch and then one inch for my seam allowance one inch also two inch for the hem and then half inch on the waistline so i'm just going to, ahead, going to go ahead and cut that on the lining So the next thing I'm going to do is mark my slit length. So I want my slit to be 16 inches from the waistline. 16 inches. Slit line will be right here. The slit will be here. 16 inches from the waistline. So I'm going to go ahead and make a notch on this. And the lining right here I'll make another notch so when I'm joining I just join right up to that point right there okay so I'm going to unpin pin it this way so make sure it matches the side where your slit faces as well So I'm going to stitch right here on the left side so it turns out to be this. So let's put a pin. So on my dot here, also, we're going to just pin these two points together. That's for my dot. I'll do the same for the lining. Pin out my dot here. And then my dot here. So I'll just go ahead and sew all those parts out with the lining as well. So to sew the front part, I'm going to gather from this point up onto this notch point. But because this is a sequin fabric, it's like really difficult to gather. So I'm not going to use the the string um, method to like you know pull the string together i'm just going to use my hands while i'm sewing i'm going to use my you know use my hands to make that gathers because that's the best way on this particular fabric so before i start sewing i'm going to also mark my slit length because i haven't marked it on the on this fabric i only marked it on the lining now to do that, I can't mark it. I can't mark it from the top because of this ruching detail. So I'm going to mark it from the bottom. So I'll just get my lining. Um, take the measurement from here to the bottom, so that I'll use the same on the sequence fabric. So this is 13 and a half. So from the bottom here, I'm going to mark that 13 and a half. So it's right here. I'm going to make a notch. So this is my slit length right here. So I'll just put this together also to get the same length there. So I'm going to mark that. Okay. So first, I'm going to try to go and ruche this right now. Now when I'm ruching it, I have to ruche it back to this measurement here to here because this was where the ruching started from. So I'm going to mark this measurement. This is 10 and a half. So my ruching is going to be 10 and a half. By the time this is done, it should move back to 10 and a half inch. So let's go ahead and sew that. So over here, I'm just going to gather from that point to where the notch is.
So I'm just carefully just brushing it together. Make sure the gathers is as close as possible so that I have about 10 inch when I'm done doing this. Now once this was done, I checked to see what the measurement was after gathering it, which was about 10 inches. And then I went ahead to do the same to the other side, the other piece of the front. Carefully just ruched just like the same way I did to the other piece. Our next step is to join both pieces together, both sides of the front together with three quarter inch that was left to the slit length right at that notch over there. Now once I got to the slit length, I sewed like a little angle right around the notch. I'll do the same on the lining so you see exactly what I did. It's not showing clearly here but you'd see it way better on the lining. So here, just carefully watch how I did the angle I was talking about. So once I got there, I flipped the fabric and then right there, that's So next, I notched right on top of the angle that I made. Now once I did that, also the same with the lining, I notched the angle. Now if you're notching that angle, make sure it's really close to the seam. Now once I did that, I pinned both the front and the back together with right sides facing each other and then I pinned it just to make sure the fabric is secured. So once it's all pinned up, I'll go ahead and sew three quarter inch as the same. So sew that all through just like a straight line. I'll open it wide and sew it like a straight line. So here, almost done with the line, with the seam. After doing this, you can also top stitch along um, on top of the lining, but in this case, I didn't do it, but you could also do that if you want. Either way, it's fine if you can iron properly. So here is the result of the slit all turned out. So what I did was I went ahead and ironed it off camera, made sure the seam was flat and you know, and all that. So here is how it's looking like from the front. So next thing I did was sew all the dots on the back of the skirt.
So here is the back of the skirt with the dots all ironed out. The next thing I did was to mark my zip length on the center back on the zip allowance. My zip allowance in this case was about one and a half inch. So here I'm just marking out that um, zip allowance down. It's another. And I also repeated the same on the lining as well. Marked the zip length and then marked out the zip allowance. So off camera, I added an interfacing along the zip line just to make that area a little firm for the zip. Then I just sew down the rest of the seam. After that, I went ahead to iron out the seam that I just made. I ironed it super flat. I did that off camera. And once I did that, I went ahead to install my invisible zipper. Here I'm not using a foot because I'm used to using this to install the zipper. But if you're not comfortable using that, please use your invisible zipper foot. So here, this is the back um, piece already done. So here's the zipper, me trying to see if it opens well. And then, so to close off the zip allowance, I placed the lining over the fabric with the wrong sides placing each other. And then I pinned both the zip allowance, that's the zip allowance of the fabric and that of the lining. I pinned it out together to run a stitch just right around where the zip line stops. So I'll sew that line just to where the zipper ends. I repeated the same for the other side. So here, this is it all done. The zip allowance is already turned in. So next, I'll go ahead to join my side seams. So I'm going to place um, the back over the front of the skirt, right sides facing each other. And then here, I'm just pinning, making sure all my notches match that's the hip notch and so for the lining i'm also going to pin that by making sure the seams both face each other that's the seam of the sequence fabric and the seam of the lining they are both facing the same side So once that is done, I'll go ahead and sew my side seam, which in this case was one inch. Now repeat the same to all of the sides. So here now after joining the seams, I went ahead to iron all the sides off camera. So here is all the sides all ironed out. The seams all hitting. The next step is to turn the hem allowance. Originally, I wanted to leave a two inch hem allowance there, but when I tried the skirt on, I felt it still wasn't as long as I wanted, so I decided to just use half inch to turn the hem allowance and just leave the length as is. So on the hem, I'm pinning all the points together. That's making sure all the seams, they match. So one side is not longer than the other. Now once I did that, I went ahead to sew half an inch.
and once the seam was done I went ahead to turn it inside out Now here is it all ironed out off camera. Now the next step is to fix in the band. So here I painted the fabric and the lining together on the waistline. And once that was done, I went ahead to mark the size of my band, which was four and a half inch length. And then the width was my waist measurement, which was 28 inches plus an extra two inch or two and a half inch for the flap of the band. Now, once I did that, I cut it out. And then I left another half inch for the fold on the band. Now, after that, Put some interfacing on it so off camera I went ahead to iron it out. I left half inch for the top fold and then folded it into two, leaving out another half inch. So once I did that, I stitched the waistline together just to secure the lining in the fabric. So to sew on the band, I placed the band on the right side of the skirt with the right sides facing each other because I wanted to finish the band on the inside and not on the outside. So once I pinned it together, I went ahead to sew down with a half inch all the way on the waistline. Now the next thing, I folded it towards the inside and that half inch I left, I just folded it right under the seam. Here I'm just spinning it, making sure it's secure so when I'm sewing, I don't have to keep moving it. So here I folded um, half inch in out of the two and a half inch extra that I left. I think it was about one inch. I folded one inch in. On one side and then I went ahead to stitch it down so here I left one inch out and then folded half inch in so that extra one inch is the flap or the wrap where I'll place my hook and eye on the hook and eye for the skirt I mean so next I'm just sewing in between the seams so I'm opening the seams and sewing so that you could hardly see the stitch.
so guys basically that's it the skirt is all done the band is in now the only thing that was left to do which i did off camera was to put on the hook and eye so here again this is just a video of the finished look and thank you so much again for watching i'll see you in my next video bye